Chase it. Case it. Watch where I always place it. You think you can beat the three shell game? Think again. A few weeks ago, I was in Las Vegas directly under a security camera. I had the fortune of watching a three shell game at work. And in this video, I'm going to expose how this game works and uh, teach you why you cannot win. Right now, it just looks like a simple game where all you have to do is pick which bottle cap has the red ball underneath it. What you might not realize is all these guys are in on it. The two guys in black t-shirts plus the guy in the white shirt that just bet 200 bucks, he's in on it. Of course, he's going to hand over $200 and watch this. He hands over the money. There's no ball under there the guy in the black shirt in front of me just turned that cap over to show that he was correct so why would the shill in the white shirt intentionally lose money what he's doing is baiting the woman directly to his left he wants her to think you know what i followed the right cap if i had bet money i would have won and guess what the tactic was 100 percent successful on the very next game in just a matter of seconds this woman lost 200 bucks the caps are mixed up again one of the shills calls out the middle cap to make this bet even more enticing now it's only 50 percent this woman is thinking last time i tracked it I was correct. Somebody lost 200 bucks. If I only had bet the money, I would have won. And now she's been conditioned. She's thinking this time I followed it 100% correctly. I know I'm going to win. It's easy money. The operator says, turn it over yourself. And of course, there's nothing there. She was conditioned in the first game. She lost in the second game. Let's take a look at the business model for a second. We can't have a game where the operator wins all the time. No one would want to play. So let's look at another tactic where one of the shills actually wins money. Right now, the operator is mixing up the caps and watch the guy right in front of me in the black t-shirt. He says, I'll put money on this cap. He turns it over and look at this. Easy money. This guy wins $600 without blinking an eye. Now, people watching the game are saying, well, you know what? That guy just won 600 bucks. I could do that too. It's just another psychological tactic to get people that normally wouldn't gamble to open up their wallets and basically give their money away. Let's take a look at one more tactic to protect the operator from losing money. Here we can see the same thing we saw earlier. A shill bets money on the center cap, losing the money, making the bet more enticing. It's only 50% right now. But I'll let you in on a little secret. The ball is actually here. Now you might be wondering what happens if you play this game and you actually pick the correct cap. How does the operator not lose money? Well, that's exactly what happened in this scenario here. A person on the operator's right has correctly picked the cap, but immediately what happens is a shill on the operator's left starts betting double. So this person over here is betting $50. He's got it correct, but the shill keeps betting $100. However, those are the rules of the game. The operator has to take the highest bet. So no matter how much the player keeps raising, and he did, the shill keeps raising the money even more, even more. And so finally, the operator says, I have to take the higher bet. I'm sorry. The original player's bet is nullified. The shill's bet is taken. And guess what? The shill loses. But remember, it's just house money. The bottom line is you can't win this game. You can't win three card Monty. You can't win the shell game. There's just so many psychological tactics to entice you to play. But at the end of the day, it's impossible to win. Now, probably my favorite part of this whole story is after I saw this and I recorded it on my phone secretly, I walked away to watch the footage and I was happy with what I got. I returned a few moments later to record some more. And like magic, the whole thing had just vanished. It's just truly an amazing con, one of the oldest in the world. Don't play it.